No way. 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 What the f I still love you madly, with your every move. I want you so bad. Oh, oh my God! Fuck oh, it! Good afternoon, ladies. And gentlemen, today is a bright and beautiful September the 2nd, Monday. It is 4 p.m. and we are heading to the gym. So this morning, woke up, absolutely freaked out. Stepped on the scale and we weighed in at an all-time low of 165 freaking pounds. That is absolutely absurd considering that two weeks ago we were weighing in around 176 11 pounds down we got two or three more to go before the competition speaking of that we are exactly five days out so what we are doing today is heading to the bar vancouver the best gym in the west god i wish i could train there more often but it is a little out of the way today they're doing a special promotion free drop in me aldrin and patrick are gonna head there Woo, it's gonna be a good training session. In terms of the water cut, we're on three gallons today, AKA six of these. So, without further ado. Oh yeah, we're wearing the singlet too. So, without further ado, let's get there. All right guys, we're out here in the bar, Vancouver. The most glorious gym in the West with Piedmont Strength right here. And Something happened, guys. Aldrin's like, guys, we're gonna get to the gym at 3.45. Well, it's 4.50 and he just arrived. Normally I'd be mad at the whole party, but I think I'm just gonna blame Aldrin because look at that idiot. Jeez. Come on, man. All right, so the main reason that we came to the bar today, besides the fact that it is the sickest gym in the West, is because they got some competition plates right there. Those are the red, blue, and green, those are your beautifully colored, highlighted plates. The main difference, if you don't know, between training in the gym and training at a competition is that all the weights are in kilos, they're a little bit thinner, and as you get to those heavy weights, big difference. I think we're gonna keep the workout raw today because I'm too lazy to film B-roll and it's gonna be our first time in the bar. Not doing that. We're gonna hit openers today, bench, squat, and dead. And hopefully, we're gonna hit our numbers. Hopefully. Oh, good. All right, before we start this workout, I think we're gonna hit hopefully 419 on the squat, 270 on the bench, and 469 on the deadlift. Hey, hey, if he is anything lighter than that, uh, get, on, get on him in the comments, all right? Tell him. It's and then sweet. I'm gonna give a promise right now that if I miss any of these perceived openers for the meet, I will allow all three of you to kick me right in the ball. Hey, you said it. And I mean, not only missing the weight, strength-wise by missing it in any other way like technique or not going deep enough or not hitting on the commands full-fledged charlie horse knock me in both nut sacks at once with one leg you good with that sounds good to me man okay but i might like it oh, wait a sec two reds in the bar kilos converting that's like 800 pounds you know what that means guys oh no Oh no, it's oh singlet no, time! Oh no. I totally don't want to put on this super tight singlet right now. Wow. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm ready, let's go! Let's go!
So we just finished up squats and I decided to hit the opener twice just because it was feeling so good. You might be wondering why we have so much weight on such a low platform here. And that usually only happens in competition when someone fails the lift. So you have to put it on these lower ones. Patrick, what happened, huh? Uh, so you see the thing is, uh, you know Aldrin, right? That guy, he, uh, he kind of put the wrong plates on. So, you know, the right side was a little heavier. That's yeah, why. yeah, yeah. I still almost got it though, you know. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so, athlete, so, so in... in <laughs> So instead of 600, it was 700 yeah, pounds, yeah, right? Like 700 pounds. All right, makes sense. We're gonna go straight to bench right now, try to hit 270 pounds for our openers, and hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna sit in the chair. Finished bench, went pretty good. I say like both reps, RB eight or nine. After benching yesterday, not too bad. Couldn't really ask for more. We're gonna change into these shoes, get ready for deadlifts because I cannot wait to get home and get some food. All right guys, just finished our last training session in Vancouver for the next week. Um, saying goodbye to Coach Nut and Matthew Ma. It's been a good time. I might not see these guys for quite a bit because we're gonna go back to school and start training there. He's really happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, this guy has been coaching me for the past three months of summer, so I am gonna thank him a lot right now. 
because he's helped me completely prep myself, get my mentalness in check for this competition and just helping me de-stress, except for today because he was an hour late. But besides that, thank you so much, coach. Okay, You've been incredible. Man. He's not even charging me. I'm making a deal right now to Patrick and Aldrin that if I win this competition, I will take them out for a three course meal at Trattoria. So without further ado, goodbye guys. I'll see you brother. See you brother. Good luck, good Have luck, a good, good one. Luck. Good luck, Damien. Keep your head up, remember. Bye Patrick. See you tomorrow. All right, time to get some food. All right guys, it is 10.45. We are back home right now in the crib after a nice, long, long day of training. We just got done our usual self-therapy in prep for the Western Championships. Myofascial release, some theragunning, and the usual ice bath just to cool down the joints and hopefully not feel so much freaking pain. We are on the fifth one of these for the night, halfway gone. One more to go to equal our three gallons for today's water cut. So I just thought I'd sit here and end off the video with a little rant, telling you guys what has been going on, my thoughts going into the next week. And yeah, let's start it off with this book. You can't really see because the, I'm too lazy to change the ISO on this camera. And anyways, I'm just going to read it to you. So we got this book back on July 1st. It was a Monday, leg day. I know this because I write every single workout down in this here book. And one day I'd definitely love to, you know, put this onto the public for free just so people can look through my training and maybe take some tips or some ideas for their own training. This is really just essentially a, like a diary guide training log for me to look back on and reflect. It kind of goes like this where starting on July 1st, Canada Day was when the first day we decided to do the road to Westerns. For example, it went leg day, July 1st, Monday, we write the exercise, the pounds that we lifted and the rep scheme. For example, this day we did squats at 420 pounds for a nice PR of five. And then at the bottom of every single page, we have the notes for the day. So we can come back, look at the book and just reflect on how that specific day of training went. And it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of nostalgic for me to go through and look at some of my old training and see how I've progressed. And definitely, definitely want to show this off at least when I fill it out completely. So yeah, a couple of the workouts, for example, uh, leg day July 4th, Thursday, squats, 440, top set of one, notes, absolutely tired as hell, pause sets getting strong, um, July 25th, or July 26th, overhead press, 195 pounds, notes, huge PR, elbows are getting better, did triceps with Tanner. And I even logged the days where I got sick and injured and there's literally just 15 pages in this book going sick day, sick day, sick day, injured. I can't, this note says, I cannot believe that I fell down the fricking stairs. I am an idiot. God, I can never lift again. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting going back and seeing my mindsets for those specific days of training. Even recently, like today, for example, water cut day three, three gallons of water, weighed in this morning at 164.6 pounds, prep day, September 2nd, Monday, squat 419 for two sets of one, bench 270 for two sets of one, and deadlift 469 pounds for our top set of one. Notes, squat, not too bad, bench, pretty great, and deadlift, super hard, I'm getting tired, I need a rest. As this is my ninth consecutive day of training, which I don't think I have done ever in my life. I love rest days, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you get injured and you're on prep, baby. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait. Tomorrow's gonna be my first rest day. We are filming a little fun school project for the school. This last week I had so many school council meetings school count last week i had so many school council meetings so many hours that just i really wish i spent at home resting and recovering and prep for westerns because mainly in terms of meets and stuff i love to just like just dial in by myself um get really isolated and just prep by myself and i don't i don't really like human interaction during those times but Speaking human interaction, this summer I think it was an all-time high of me just not doing anything, 
barely hung with friends, barely went out. I think the only places I literally moved to was the fridge, the couch, and the gym, and oh my god, I do not regret a single minute of it. This was one of the best summers of my life, just relaxing, training, and just having a freaking goal. Finally having a goal in training besides just trying to look aesthetic or get stronger, actually trying to make it to nationals, make it to the world champions. It's really pushing me to do some phenomenal things, which is why I love logging it down. It's kind of like a little training log, little diary that I hopefully one day will share with people. But yeah, um, speaking of summer, it's coming to an end next week, Monday, first week of school. A little bit nervous, but mainly excited because I have such, I wouldn't say easy, but I've reduced my course load to a point where I think is a little bit more manageable than it used to be, and I'm excited for this year. Good things are gonna come. I can't wait to take these videos to a whole new level. Possibly vlogging at school if I don't get beat up for it, and um, yeah. Going into this competition specifically, I can't lie, I'm, I'm nervous, a little disappointed, especially because we got injured and blah blah blah, and we lost some strength on many of the lifts and all that, but I'm mainly just excited, man. This is my first time for weightlifting, for powerlifting, that I'm traveling to like a different place, taking a flight to get there. And we spend so much freaking money that hopefully one day I'll earn back, pay back my parents for this. And um, as much as as much as it's just like a like a hobby type sport and you don't really win like a prize per se for it, it it means so so much to me more than anything and I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret right now but if I don't win westerns it doesn't mean I don't move on to the next chapter of lifting all that that's what I've been telling a lot of people just to kind of like dignify my reasons of actually going and being so excited for it. Nothing really happens. Like, I can make it to nationals, I still have a qualifying total, all I have to do is go there and literally lift the bar, but going there and doing my best performance even after getting injured and losing so much strength is, it's like a selfish reason, it's all for me. It's me, I just wanna prove to myself that even with like these hardships and with all the training that I've done over the summer, I'm not gonna give up and I'm still gonna go and just crush every single weight that is put in front of me at Westerns and oh, hopefully it's gonna be a good time. I'm super excited that Patrick's coming, not only to film, but just to give me some morale. He's a very happy guy, as you've, got, as you've noticed. Um, I don't think it's possible to make that guy mad, so I think morale-wise, he's gonna be great. Great person to film with. We're both super into making these videos. Check out his channel, a little plug for him. I'll put that in the description. You're welcome, Patrick. And yeah, besides being nervous, excited, and all the usual anticipations you get when you go to a different place and compete, oh, there's so much pride in it, man. I'm so freaking excited, especially to miss the first two days of school. I'm just kidding, but no, a little bit. Okay, this this clip has gone on for like eight minutes. I'm sorry to everybody for me rambling. I'm probably not gonna cut this up just cause, you know, I gotta talk a little bit sometimes. Today is the third day in a row that I have recorded, or was it the fourth? Something like that, I don't even know. I'm really happy about that because in the beginning I really thought I wasn't gonna record too much for the road to Westerns. But in the end we did, so you're welcome. I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Tomorrow, might record, might not. Last day in Vancouver, I kinda just wanna relax and have some time to myself and really get the mind ready. We're gonna have to do lots of packing. Hopefully I for don't forget my singlet and my squat shoes and all the other stuff I have to lift with. But yeah, oh man, I'm excited. The rest of the night, we're gonna drink this. Hopefully get one more in and eat one of these rice cakes. Yes, the typical bodybuilding on a diet, on a cut food. I'm excited. And as usual guys, thank you so much for watching. When I say this, 
I do mean it, but it truly means a lot. Even though I only have like 300 subscribers, the people who watch these videos, I love you. And if you watch to the end and you watch this whole rant, I love you even more. And as usual, I will see you in the next video. Peace!